required. Hello and welcome back to EGL6. Currently we are spectating Tech Sweden taking on Druids and I'm going to go forward with Tech. It is going to be s and It is going to be lockdown and as it stands, it's a very, very impressive first game we saw it with CTF on Dome. Tech just taking it in stopwatch so it was very, very close indeed. s and could be a whole different ball game as Druids get two down. And it's going to be left to Alex and Burns to see if they can make something happen. Burns just going to rotate up to top uses. Is going to see someone on that B. It is going to be one on four. Oh, yeah, it was a one on four. And it looks like that bomb is just going to get defused. So nice play there by Druids. Burnsy, not really much you could do unless MBT decides to kill his teammate. But he thinks better of it. And that is going to be one and oh to Druids. Yeah, really quite an impressive game there from Druids. I only caught the last part of it actually, but I did see them just manage to get that defuse. So obviously, coming back into this game, can't have been happy about losing their capture the flag. Yeah, they definitely will have been annoyed by that. And um, we're going to see how Tech are going to set up on defense as Burns is actually going to go to the spot that I always use. So he actually got this off me. We were doing double GB. Just saying, just throwing that out there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's a nice spot because you can just see how many players actually cross. You don't actually need to engage them. You can just call it out to a teammate who's probably somewhere near B corridor, and that's actually going to be Svan, who's in a, a quite a cheeky little camouflage spot. He's using the tree as cover, so smart play there by Svan. But I'm going to stay on board with Burns and see if he can make anything happen. As he is going to get rushed by Solan, who drops Burnsy, and a bit of pressure now on this Tech Sweden team. Yeah, the entire of uh, Tech are actually using ARs. It was actually a four AR setup they had going on, using quite like we saw Enigma actually playing in the last game, just sort of holding in different corners and pre-aiming, which actually hasn't gone their way. Yeah, it's an interesting strategy. You do see quite a few teams do it, but Svan is going to get taken down on that B bomb. Bomb has been planted. Marts with a lot to do here. It was a one on three. He has taken down one. He needs to get that bomb defused. He's going to see the second one on balcony. Great play there by Marts. Can he find the third? Uh, time is of the essence. Thirty seconds. He needs to do it quickly. Yeah, I see. Can he find someone? Is he going to go for the fake? Oh! Him, and he does actually pick it up there. A little bit of a fake defuse. The bloke tried to pick him off. No, use that head glitch and just knocked him down. Massive play coming from Marks there. That one versus three clutch and the defuse. That is no doubt going to give Tech Sweden a lot of confidence going into these next rounds. And we will go ahead and change team. Give you Druid's perspective right now. And it looks somebody on board with MBT. He's actually going for the MP7 and he's going to make his way straight past the B. It looks like he's going to go for a crazy little rush. He's going to turn left at Pillars, jumps the corner pre aim, doesn't see anyone, goes bottom art. But he isn't going to get challenged just yet as Burns drops to Cedar's nade. Alex gets stolen. Cedar takes down Alex. So lots of kills being exchanged, but it's going to be three on two in Druid's favor right now. Yeah, and obviously, like I said, s &D does become a numbers game at time. If you've got them numbers, you can push whichever part of the map and have the advantage. So we're probably going to see uh, Tech try and maybe pick up another kill before they go whichever way. Obviously, Drew's on those defensives. So they don't really have anything to do apart from maybe just pick their strategy and see where they're going to hold. Yeah, definitely. We've got Cedar, who's in B corridor right now. He's just going to be covering that A bomb. They've got MBT also in B corridor, checking the other side. And Jacob, who is at B bomb. But I think, to be honest, if Tech are going to try and make a move, it's Marts and Svan left last up. I think they're probably going to make a way towards B-Bomb. That's probably going to be the most likely. Because you can always anticipate someone to be B-Corridor, and that's exactly what Svan has done. He's taken down MBT, who was in that B-Corridor, so it is going to be two on two. So Tech just leveling the playing field right there. Yeah, it looks like Cedar is actually just going to flick back and forth in fire. Maybe try and pick up a kill. He's a little bit worried about the back of him by, by the look of it. Especially now he's all on his own. Marts taking down Jacob. 1v2 for Cedar here. Gonna try and looks like he's gonna try and link around and keep an eye on that B bomb. Yeah, smart, smart play. But when you're all by yourself, it is very difficult indeed. He's gonna get lots of hit markers, and that is the problem when you use a suppressor. That right there happens. You get nothing but hit markers. Arguably, if he hadn't been using that suppressor, he probably would have picked off that kill. But he's gonna anticipate one person to be A, takes down Marks. One versus one, it's gonna be Svan taking on Cedar, and Svan gets the better of him. So nice play there by Svan. Wow, interesting to note there that he was actually using kick on the ACR, which we don't really see anymore. It tends to be focus or impact, obviously. Not a lot of, of uh, recall on this ACR anyway, so it isn't that widely used. Silencer and kick is very, very rare. I don't really see the point in that, if I'm honest. If you're going to use a silencer, you may as well whack impact on it, because it isn't exactly going to recoil uncontrollably, I would have thought. But we'll stay on board with Druids now as they try their hand at the attacking round. Obviously, Tech Sweden have this 2-1 advantage. They did win that first map. So if Sweet Tech Sweden can win this this map here, they're going to be in good stead in this best of five. Yeah, Solan now looking out of this window here. 
obviously just with his teammates trying to make sure that they can push forward they are playing quite aggressive here not playing as slowly as we have seen other teams play this map and gets taken down yeah arguably they're paying the price for that because it seems like Tech Sweden are just playing so very defensive as Burnsy takes down Jacob Cedar with it all to do it's one versus four hasn't got the bomb with two minutes left to go this is going to be huge if he gets it yeah you know what I'm going to call it right now that he isn't going to <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, what, you know why? Whenever we see a defensive team yeah. play, you know what? See, I was right. Yeah, Shush, I mean, you you <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we see a play, team play defensive on this map, all we've seen is an awful lot of uh, people locking down the choke points. Obviously, Svan was hunting for him there, so it would have been incredibly lucky for him to get it because obviously he's got to check every corner. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Especially in these sort of pressure times as well. Tex Sweden just want to make sure they close this out. We will change team and get on board with them as they are on the attacking side of things. And I'm going to get straight on board with, let's see if anyone's using an SMG. I don't think anyone, they're all actually, actually, no, there we go. Alex with the bomb is running with an MP7 and he's going to try and get some stuns off and fire. Doesn't connect, does get stunned himself. And MBT has taken down Solon and Cedar takes down Mars. Not sure what that was about. Bit of friendly fire going on there. So ooh, that's definitely not going to give Druids any, any help. Take Alex, looks like he is all by himself. One versus three. I thought he was going to go for a little bit of a cheeky bomb plant there, but obviously not. And he has been seen. He's in a lot of trouble now as he's going to get called out. Choosing to watch just one door when they're actually going to be homing in on his position. Maybe not the best idea. He needs to get out of there and, like I said, just engage on his own terms now. Yeah, absolutely. He's done the smart thing there. He has retreated, but there is going to be a guy. Top art, you don't want to be engaging that. The problem is he has players all around him now. And with 1 minute 40, he has it all to do. He's going to see someone. Blue mailbox got one shot off. But Cedar, nice, nice play. Takes down Alex. 3-2 to Tech Sweden. Cedar actually going big for his team right now. Eight for three, locking them down. Like I said, he was in a lot of trouble. As soon as he got spotted there, he just tried to lose the other player, so he didn't get surrounded. But unfortunately, they just managed to lock him down in that area, and he couldn't break out without running into a head glitch. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what we're going to see now is Tech Sweden just play some massive, massive hardcore defense. I say that, but Burns has actually gone a little bit more aggressive than we're normally used to seeing. Interesting choice. If he gets stunned here, he could well just give away an easy kill. But Marts is going to take down Cedar, so it is going to be four on three. But Jacob responds by semtexing Marts, so it is three versus three, and it's pretty much anyone's game at this point. Yeah, like I said, this tech team using a solid four AR lineup again, going very, very defensive. Pre-aiming Spawn managed to get a nade on Druids there on MBT, so going to be two versus three in benefit of tech and like I said before they are all slowing down they are watching their corners and they are just pre-aiming yeah it's what they need to do to win in their opinion and to be fair it, we haven't seen it work that much but I think they probably can make it work it is three on two they have enough sort of time to waste and there is someone bottom art and Alex is going to have to engage and he's probably rotated all the way to go to that blue mailbox or maybe just not even bother with that and that's exactly where Alex is going to look as Svan takes down Jacob three versus one it is all on Solon right now and I honestly can't I can't see him do it uh, this tag team seems to just have just locked the map down and he can't actually go anywhere Burns has seen him shots fired but didn't manage to drop him and he sees him again and no takes him down oh. Solon probably shouldn't have tried to pick on that engagement he didn't really have the angle and going up against an entrenched ACR like that was never going to work